Hey, I just want to talk about a certain topic about with you today is that the cold infusion is here and a lot of people get sick and ugly and you know what it is like Ebola, food poisoning, E. coli, Salmonella, whole bunch of getting sick, people coughing, time of flu, fever and a bunch of nasty stuff and that's why we live in the sick care industry. We don't live in the uh, disease free in this world and it's all about profit, everybody's corrupted and people don't give a flying buzz about health. I'm being 100. People don't care about health these days. They think they know about health, but they don't know about health. I mean, they can look they can look sexy on the outside, but inside, it's jacked up and ugly. But that's 100% fact because health starts inside your gut. When your gut is clogged up and it's all like that, that people don't even talk about. Most American people don't talk about gut health. They're too embarrassed to talk about gut health. They're either bloated, constipated, and they have all these health issues in their in their health. And that's why we don't want to talk about it. But they'd rather go to a doctor and talk to them about their symptoms. And the doctors give you prescription drugs. When they prescribe you prescription drugs, it's just gonna cause more symptoms. More 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 symptoms, which is gonna um, drugs inhibit your organs, so what's gonna cause more symptoms. It does not make things better, it makes things worse. So that's why they make you stay at home, they're gonna give you more prescription so that to get you sick so it's just that we live in the sad world we live in and people don't want to hear the truth but I'm just telling you the truth 100 because I work with a uh, Nobel Peace Prize finalist uh, Ron and um, good mentor good friends and he, he used to live in Malibu, Malibu and Beverly Hills Hawaii he lives so many nice places and he told me it's like how does people regular people who have health issues or maybe the disease they have in their life, but they can't afford a supplement versus a successful entrepreneur or maybe, or a celebrity or maybe entertainment people in the business that have all these money in the world, but they can't afford a supplement, but they rather focus on materialistic items that doesn't add value to their life. End of the day, your health is more important than anything else because you only live once. Tomorrow's not gonna be promised tomorrow. So, when that day comes to you, when it kicks you right in the butt, when you get that disease one day in the long term, but don't tell you that I didn't tell you this. You gotta take care of your own health right now. If you don't take care of your health right now, when that day comes, oh my goodness. Glad, I am glad I'm not paying for your medical bills, your health bills. Cause you know how much that's gonna cost? That's gonna cost half a million dollars out of your own pocket. If you can't afford the medical and the health bills, guess what? They're gonna come evict your house. They're gonna come after your house property. And then you're gonna end up homeless. They're not there to help you. They're trying to ruin your life. Banks, medical industry, the medical industry, the hospital, they're just ruin your life. And and there's an article today about, uh, CNBC posts an article today about people after the age of 50, they wanna commit suicide because they can't afford medical bills medical bills, nursery home, prescription drugs. It's just a mess right now. They don't care about people. They want, America, we're too populated. They don't want you to live long. What the hell is wrong with the world? They treating people, they want to die, and they want people to die fast and make more money. And it's just sad, it's just that, I just want to help people give a better quality of life so they can have hope and have miracles in life and live in the quality of life they want to live so they can see Maybe your loved ones or family or friends spending time traveling around the world. Do whatever you want in life. Excuse me about that. It's just that um, life is about um, enjoying what you love to do when you take care of yourself. There's a saying that you can't help others until you help yourself. And also, you cannot feel sorry for people who have disease. You can't feel for themselves. You can't feel sorry for them at all. The only way they can help is themselves. If they really want to invest in their health, right now. Not 10 minutes from now, not tomorrow, right now. Because you'll do whatever it takes to save someone's life. You'll, you'll do whatever it takes to save your loved ones, maybe someone in your family or your friends. So I'm just giving you the step to taking your health so you can live longer and save money on the health insurance bills. And these days, we don't live in the cheap healthcare industry anymore. We live in the most expensive healthcare industry. 
so it's a profitable business to the medical and the healthcare industry. And also, last but not least, is that when you all these cancer research, breast cancer, prostate cancer, all these uh, research center, don't ever give out your money to them because those money never goes to the research center. Most of those money will go to the medical industry so they can get a, a, a bonus in the salary so they get a bonus to the medical industry and it's just sad they didn't even go to the research center they, it's all about money to them and it tells you how the world we live in and people are just dying dying these days and they can't live a the, the quality of life anymore they just died at a young age because their health is deteriorating because of all those stuff we eat is the food and drinks that we consume the, uh, on, on these days is controlled by the government. GMO, pesticides, and antibiotic, uh, like uh, antibiotic, pesticides, these hormones, and the food we eat these days. Doesn't matter if we eat organic food because we can't break down organic food anyway, so it's just toxic waste. So I hope everyone have a wonderful day and and enjoy this video. And I love to create contents of health stuff. So if you learn something from my videos. Uh, if you like this video, share with others that, that you love. And if you're willing to save their life, message me or comment. I love to help people so I can have uh, make miracles happen for them and give them a chance to live in this world today. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. And share this message. God bless you guys.